growing number of businesses are requiring customers to show proof that they've been vaccinated in order for them to enter. Now, at this point, it's mostly restaurants and bars, but it is the closest thing to a vaccine passport, and not everybody's happy about it. NBC4's Robert Kavasik tonight is live with reaction. Robert? You know, Chuck, you're exactly right. There's been a lot of talk about vaccine passports getting you where you need to go. And this may be the first best example we have here in Los Angeles. Don't leave home without it because you may get carded and it has nothing to do with your age. It may be tough to find a bar in L.A. where everybody knows your name. But if you want to go where everybody is COVID clear, there's now a watering hole waiting for you. I'm all for it, man. Vaccinated bars, hip spots, allowing entrance to only those with proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. I made sure I brought my vaccination card with me and I showed it. Now I'm going to start drinking. And if you don't have that proof, watch what happens at Bar Henry. No card, no cocktail. What we saw tonight from signage to security, your word is not good enough. We decided that it was for the greater good of the community, the safety of our staff and our patrons. The bar and restaurant industry has been punished enough already. Trying to avoid what happened this week at the Village Idiot on Melrose that now has this phone greeting. Unfortunately, we've had a breakthrough case of COVID-19 with one of our fully vaccinated staff members. We will be closed for the next few days until all of our employees are tested. The Instagram announcements receiving a mostly favorable reaction, but a few comments on the ones we checked did not embrace the decision. Lance Barisi says he's not worried. If even just one other bar or one other business uh, decides to go this route, it'll save lives, it'll keep people out of the hospital, and I'm all about that. Now, bar owners like Lance Barisi say they understand the reluctance, especially among young people. And they say they're hoping the decision that they made will help the decision possibly that younger people make to get vaccinated a little bit easier. We're live tonight here in Angelino Heights. I'm Robert Kavasik. Chuck and Carolyn, by the way, that's plenty of Dodger traffic here behind me. Let's go back to you. It is busy, Robert. Well, still ahead, 